Hello everybody, welcome to today's newscast. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Eddie Rodriguez. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. During the pandemic, many business owners have had to shift ventures to accommodate the lifestyles of their customers. One family in Valencia turned the closing of their restaurant into the beginning of a traveling, mobile dining experience. Here's Tatiana Ekmekjin with more. At the start of the pandemic, Santa Clarita natives Angelica and Joe Kubangbang found themselves with no source of income and a family to support. Within two months, the Kubangbangs founded their first food truck, Kazuyo. When the COVID uh, started uh, uh, somewhere in March last year, I lost my job. I don't want to rely on the uh, government money. So I talked to my wife, most is to go and pick up. I thought about it. I was like, okay, I think it's good to do the food truck. But the Kazuyo truck became more than just a mobile restaurant. Chef Joe and Miss Angelica wanted the truck to be a symbol of family and community for the Santa Clarita Valley. Kazuyo means um, sharing of um, husband and wife, uh, doing things together, like very close relation and doing things they love. It's like uh, they met together with each other. Yes. I told, I told uh, my wife that we're going to serve the food truck here in Santa Clarita, Valencia, kind of countries, uh, our, our community here. The strong sense of community built into the Kazuyo brand, partnered with the amazing quality of fish, is what keeps local customers coming back. Normally, people think that if it's a food truck, it's like a cheap thing. But when they get there, they are really satisfied. Aside from the great quality fish, Chef Joe also created a new way of eating a sushi roll as a fun way to inspire locals to come and try the sushi. It's like, it's like a corn dog. It's like eating, <laughs> walking like, on the stick. So it's like a twist burst uh, of the uh, sushi. The Kubangbang's sense of neighborly love helps to feed all members of the community even those who cannot afford it. We are serving people or families who got affected by COVID. We offer a free platter for them. They can choose whatever they want to be placed on the platter and give it for free. Chef Joe's refreshing take on sushi and Angelica's familial nature fueled the creation of a network of loyal regulars. I used to go to the um, sushi story by Bruce in Castaic where Joe was the sushi chef. So when I found out he came here and he had his own truck, I had to follow him. Thank you. What can I say? Thank you. The loyal customer base is what keeps the Kubang Bangs proud to continue what they do with their family and for their community. We love building good relationship with our customers because this is kind of personal to us. It's our bread and butter. So we really take care of everyone. Don't forget to take advantage of the Pay It Forward program through Kazuyo's Instagram page. And for Canyons News, it's been Tatiana Akmekjian reporting. This small business owner has not let the pandemic ruin her passionate and enthusiastic spirit. Her small shop in Santa Clarita continues to transform and inspire skincare. Here's Carly Atkinson with more on this story. Inspired by her own skin, Michelle Mosler has been in business for over 23 years, researching remedies to improve and inspire others. When you have that little tiny idea, it's so inspiring to just foster it. So from teenage acne to aging skin to just people who just want to take care of themselves, I've figured out a way to really create healthy looking skin, as well as I think offering a lot of inspiration to wellness in itself, which means taking care of yourself, body, mind, and spirit. So I think that there's an experience that people get when they come here. Michelle offers a variety of services. I create all my own little special potions. I do a lot of resurfacing. So I do chemical peels to help refresh the skin and also get rid of fine lines and wrinkles and sun damage and acne scars. And then I do a pretty amazing facial. Like most small business owners, Michelle's business has been hit hard by the pandemic, but she has found support through her community and the close connections she has made with her customers. I was one of the small industries and business that really got hit hard, obviously. I'm in beauty business. I have amazing clients. So I had to do some curbside deliveries 
I created different things and different modalities for people to, to take home and be able to do the treatments that they needed to do to, to keep up with their skin. It's just been so wonderful to reconnect with the people. The Goddess Within is warm and inviting. The boutique is a magical place for self-care, including clothing, candles, and plenty more. Figure out what's gonna make you happy and what do you have to share with the world and what are they gonna benefit from it because it's not just about making money. With Canyons News, I'm Carly Aukison. Although the pandemic has become detrimental to many small businesses, Stephen Beebe, a local record shop owner in Newhall, has managed to benefit from it. Although the pandemic has become detrimental to many small businesses, Stephen Beebe, a local record shop owner in Newhall, has managed to benefit from it. Yeah, my name is Stephen Beebe, and I'm one of the owners of Boho Records and Rakes. Uh, my brother and my wife, we're the three partners in this business. You know, we had so much stuff that we decided to open the little store here in Newhall and uh, and fortunately enough it's been very good to us I can't complain at all you know the business has been good even unfortunately what's going on today with the COVID situation. The storefront has been opened since 2018 and carries a selection of merchandise along with popular genres from various decades. We sell all types of things uh, jazz, R&B, blues but the most that people want here in this town in this area are rock records you know, most of the stuff we sell are original pressings. Last Christmas, the number one selling item as Christmas gives was records. You know, it hasn't slowed down since, uh, since it started taking off again last year, you know. BB is delighted to have vinyl records maintain its relevancy and wants to express how much there is to explore. There are legends in every genre of music. Don't specifically set, set yourself to one particular genre. There's so many different genres of music out there. O open your mind, uh, listen to different things, you know, great reggae records, jazz, incredible, so some incredible artists, John Cole, Train Thelonious, Monk, Miles Davis, incredible, incredible talent. So head down to Boho Records and lose yourself in sound. This local record shop has proved itself firm and steady while gaining popularity. Now to our final story of the newscast. Feed SCV is a nonprofit organization whose primary goal is to provide healthy meals within economic reach while providing an essential service to the homeless community. More with this story, here's Cheryl Ekpenyi. To change a community of people, there must be a righteous drive to want others to follow the same path and make a great change within themselves. That's exactly what Feed SCV demonstrates. So we started the organization with the primary goal of educating people as to how to cook at home, how to eat better, and ultimately making sure that everybody in the Santa Cruz Valley has three things, the knowledge, the skills, and the resources to make a good meal at home every day. we wanting to see a change in nutrition. This nonprofit organization won't stop. You can do so much more with limited resources if you just have the knowledge and know how to go to the store, how to buy the, the groceries for the week, they can stretch out and last the whole week and be more nutritional and last longer than if you were spending, you know, five, six, seven, eight dollars per person uh, at a drive through fast food restaurant. But another astonishing mission is to feed all the children in need in SCV. Is the, the name of the program is Ready to Learn. And the idea is that kids that would that would otherwise come back to school on Monday hungry, which is a which is a barrier to learning, they come back to school not hungry, so they are ready to learn, and that's that's the the, the whole reason for the program. And surprisingly, with their final mission. So I mean, our ultimate goal is to be put out of business, <laughs> because we we would really like there not to be any homeless kids that need food. Um, but to the extent that that's not the case, then we're going to keep feeding them. To donate, go to feedscv.org. With Canyons News, I'm Shrat Penny. Once again, reporting for Canyons News, I'm Eddie Rodriguez. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.